Boy LB, breaking down the Wing Chun. You know, I love when fighters come, especially fighters that are fighting and seeing what works out there in the world of fighting. It's good to pick their brains. We got the young fighter, the hungry wolf here. So, you know, I've been going through a whole lot of things with the Wing Chun guys. You know, Big Milk Dud was doing all this talking. And as far as, you know, to keep it real and right, as, as far as I see Wing Chun, it's a good arm tra trapping base. So, when we're in this close gap and I need to hold and hit, this is where I use my Wing Chun. Now, from outside here, I tend to believe that they don't know how to cross the gap. That's the, well, that's the reason every time you see a Wing Chun man having to cross the gap, it looks kind of crazy. You know, so here, to me, you know, he's trying to grab me, grab me. So, I, this is where my Wing Chun sensitive arm comes into play. Now, as you as a fighter, where do you see Wing Chun fitting in with actual combat? I guess the hand trap would be great, especially against wrestlers. Especially against wrestlers that are very good in the clinch here, you know, trying to set you up for a takedown. Whether it be your standard body lock right here, standard Greco-Roman throw with the foot over here, or just push them off the clinch and going for a double. So, as, as you come in to make your, uh, the purchase, this is where you believe the Wing Chun game starts. At a close range. What about outside the gap? Where do you see that? I don't really see it much. Unless you're mixing boxing and trying to use your hand trap to come closer. So if you have both your, you know, your hands up and you're striking, and you got his lead hand down, you're trying to put it up. You push it and there. It's a very simple hand trap, but very effective. You don't see it much in MMA. You see it a lot in uh, Dutch kickboxing. Bart Hart is very good at it. A lot of Dutch kickboxers are very good at that stuff. What about the hand position in turn the gap? I mean, Wait, no, you should well, be real right. What do you see as a fighter? How would you, if the, if the opponent set up like this, what would, what would be the first thing you're thinking? Um, I'd throw my hook right over. Right at the hook. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because all of this is open. Right? All of that is open. So is Wing Chun, as far as a long distance game, the strike, because you know they got the pedal. I mean, throwing multiple punches. I'm for throwing combos at full power, but uh, pity patty punches, not so much. So, because you're fighting the adrenaline's in the bloodstream, you're not gonna feel none of this type of pity patty. You need the real torque of the punch. So, basically a mixing of boxing with your Wing Chun yeah. would help it come around. Basically. That's what I thought. It's your boy, LB. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Don't worry about it.